Radio Foresight TV with me Anjali. The marvelous benefits of James Webb Telescope are reaching up to brighten the knowledge about the early stages of our own galaxy which could open up newest vistas of understanding with regards the formation of Milky Way and its early progression by an interesting mirroring with a recently discovered galaxy aptly named Sparkler to unearth wealth and information we are aiming at. Here's a special story from Foresight TV. Astronomers believe the Milky Way is an estimated 13.51 billion years old, yet many details of its life remain unclear, such as what happened during its infancy and what the galaxy was like as a so-called newborn. This research, published in monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, provided astronomers with new details about a recently discovered galaxy, nicknamed the Sparkler, which can be found in the constellation of volcans in the southern sky. The new observations have scientists comparing this younger galaxy which is around 9 billion years ago to our own when it was that age. In other words, this newly discovered galaxy could have characteristics very similar to the Milky Way when it was merely a baby galaxy. We appear to be witnessing firsthand the assembly of this galaxy as it builds up its mass in the form of a dwarf galaxy and several globular clusters, said researcher Duncan Forbes in a statement. We are excited by this unique opportunity to study both the formation of globular clusters and an infant Milky Way at a time when the universe was only one third of its present age. What led astronomers to compare the sparkler to the Milky Way in that they discovered it's located in a system of ancient star clusters known as globular clusters and is essentially swallowing these stars as it grows, which is what the Milky Way has done. However, overall, globular clusters are a mystery to astronomers. Globular clusters are highly concentrated collections of around a million stars through the brightening effect of gravitational lensing, which is when light from a galaxy is diverted by a massive object and route to Earth, scientists were able to conclude that they were seeing the sparkler around 9 billion years ago, which would be nearly 4 billion years after the Big Bang. Through this observation, it was a surprise to see that the globular clusters were still really old in this young galaxy. Our galaxy is middle-aged right now. You could say we understand its young adulthood. We understand its adolescence, but it's really childhood. We don't know much about and that's where the globular clusters come in. However, as the James Webb Telescope collects more data, it's likely that we will have more answers. Indeed, one of the Webb Telescope's primary goals is to explore what happened during the very early universe. By peering back into time, astronomers anticipate they will have a better understanding of how our galaxy got to its current form today. But for now, researchers remain perplexed and believe in the heart of their hearts that this discovery tends to lead to more fundamental questions at a very making of Milky Way in its origins and beyond. to be though early state a tremendous leap into the nascent development of our own Milky Way galaxy and its evolution into higher configurations with wide acknowledgement of the contributions from James Webb Telescope forming an amicable partner in unraveling the mysteries of Milky Way's all its grandeur in particular and the Big Bang Theory in general. Thank you for watching Foresight TV with me Anjali.